In today's video, we are going to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. Copy this as good. Let's grab our assets. So we are going to select these three layers and copy all of them together. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. So we are just going to position this layer right here. Create a curves adjustment layer right above all layers. We are going to create another curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. Create a photo filter adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. Holding down the sheet, you are going to select all these layers and copy it. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl B to paste. Position the sky right here and convert that into a smart object from 2T to transform. We drop the layer right here. One more. With the layer selected. We are going to transform that a bit. Create a mask with a mask selected. Grab the radii too. And we are just going to drag this way to erase. Right above this layer, we are going to create a new layer with a soft on brush. Opacity is set to 100. Foreground is set to white. Increase brush size with the right bracket key, and we are going to click once. Set blend mode to overlay. And reduce the opacity. We are going to put another solid color. Right here with the mask selected, we grab the gradient tool. And we are just going to drag this way to erase. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl High to invert. With the soft arm brush, foreground is set to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. For one, instead of white, and we are going to paint some shadows. We set that to black, and we are just going to mask it up. Right click, and we are going to change the roundness of the brush. For one, instead of white, we are going to paint some more shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer with a mask selected, Control I to invert. With a soft hand brush, for one, instead of white, and we are going to paint some shadows.
Okay, let's select that. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. The man selected control I to invert. We are going to grab the pen tool. We are going to create a selection this way. Once you have a selection, you grab a soft arm brush, increase the opacity. For when it's set to white, we are going to paint some shadows. We set foreground to black and we're just going to mask out that. Ctrl D to the select. With the mask selected, we are going to apply Gaussian blur. So we go for filter, Gaussian blur, and we are going to set radius. Then we hit OK. We are going to paint some more shadows. We are going to position this layer right here. With this layer selected, we are going to set blend mode to screen. Drop the layer right here. With the layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Position the copy right here. We are going to create a cast adjustment layer right here. It is layer selected. We are going to apply the hue and saturation adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. Now we are going to paint some shadows. So we create an exposure adjustment layer, clip onto the layer. We invert the mask with a soft arm brush. And we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to create a new layer right here. So we are going to paint some shadows. We right click and change roundness of the brush. We reduce opacity. We are going to set foreground to black and we are going to paint some shadows.
once you have everything in place you are going to press ctrl alt shift e to merge all layers right click and convert the layer into a smart object then we'll go for camera so filter camera or filter all we are going to do is we are going to play with the camera raw settings until we like the outcome once that is looking good then we hit ok thank you so much for watching guys i do hope to see you in the next one till next time stay creative